and I'll speak to you in a few minutes. Good afternoon, everybody. How are you all? I hope you're doing well and having a fantastic Friday. As always, our Friday lives at 12.30, we have got giveaways galore. We have got brand new products for you as well. And we've got an extraordinary guest as well. We've got the lovely Pete Hughes joining us from Sizzix to talk us through the brand new chapter two products. Plus, I'm sure there's some other things thrown in there as well, because I know he's using the new switch machine, which I'm really excited about because I've got mine now. Um, and you really should be thinking about adding one to your stash too. So we've got deals, of course, today. Now, um, with the chapter two, you've got die sets from as little as 9.99. But not just talking about chapter two, there's lots of elements on Craft Saturday. You're getting triple points on its triple points day. Now, if you don't know about the points, system at craft stash simply every time you spend a pound you get a point usually and those points obviously add up to uh, create rewards that you can then use later on in your purchases once you reach 20p's worth of points you can then take that off of your later purchases but today it's triple points so you're getting three points for every pound so that's even better well worth spending when we have the points days so let's go ahead to the lovely pete and say hello to him hello pete how are you I'm very well, thank you. And what do points make? Prizes. There you go. I was wondering if you'd get it. I was like, yeah, points do make prizes, don't they? Yeah, we've got chapter. This is kind of an exclusive. Nobody's seen this before. <laughs> this is Tim Holt's chapter two. So that's quite exciting. Ah, yeah. Do you know, I missed that bit. I thought, well, that's fine. Chapter two, yeah. Sizzix. Love, cha love Sizzix anyway. But it's all Tim Holt's. It's all Tim Holt's today. So we've got some grunge. We've got some really fresh and clean. We've got something for everybody, hopefully. Fantastic, brilliant. Well, I will just run through some housekeeping and then we will come straight to you for demonstration because that's what we want to see from you. I'm raring to go. Lovely, we'll be back with you in just a moment, Pete. Thank you so much. So everybody, all I'm asking you to do today to enter our giveaway is to tag your friends. It's as simple as that. So we have three giveaways for you. Two of them I will be picking winners for at the end of the hour. In fact, that's going to be one winner and the friend they've tagged. Okay, so tag all your friends. It doesn't matter, you, there's no limit tag anyone and then get them to tag you back as well. So you kind of got double the chance today. That's on YouTube and on Facebook as well. And if you've never tagged anyone before, simply use the little at sign and then write your friend's name as it appears on their social media. And hopefully it should come up for you to click onto that. And we will pick someone at the end of the hour. And then there's going to be another chance to win. So get tagging in those comments. You can sit back, relax and enjoy. Now, as well as the triple points, just quickly before we get into Pete's demonstrations, I need to let you know we've got other new product on craft stash today as well so we've got brand new sue wilson absolutely beautiful there's i want to say there's nine new products but there's also bundles of those as well saving you even more so make sure you go and check those out now i think because pete knows more about the sizzix products the tim holtz the chapter two than anyone so let's go straight over to pete for our first talk through what we're looking at new today and what the demonstrations are. And I'll read through some of your comments after Pete's done a little bit of a demonstration. Over to you, sir. Okay, well, I, I, I know more than almost everyone. There is a guy in Arizona who knows a bit Just more, one. more than me, but I think we know who that is. Just the one. Yeah. Um, but do you want me to go through the bundle that the folks are gonna to win today? That would Shall be amazing if you've first? got it there with you. 
I have indeed. Now let's let's start off this one. Wow, check that out. Look at that burlap. That's wonderful. But it's not burlap. It's actually an embossing folder. It's a 3D embossing folder. Wow. It's called Woven. It's incredible, and that's the kind of result that you can get with it. Absolutely stunning, and you won't believe the detail in there. Now that's one. Mm -hmm. We've got three more to go. The next one. This is one of my absolute favourites. It's called Modern Floristry, and the shapes in here—they they kind of look as if as if they're watercoloured. And this is the kind of thing you're going to get. So you're getting all these lovely little dyes in there as well as that we're going to show you some absolutely stunning projects which go with this Beautiful. in a second now this one this next one oh my goodness this abstract faces now wow the creative folks in the company they know what's going on they can see this they can see the potential some folks have looked at it and said mm, i'm not so sure uh, i'm going to show you a board this is the dies that come with it but i'm going to show you some absolutely knockout samples with this i'm sure you later are on so <laughs> stick around for that yep. now last but not least we have bold text number one there are seven different dies in the set they have all these lovely phrases lovely and now you can use these in many different ways it's a very very versatile set because you can use the negative like that or you can use the positive and if you use the negative as a kind of a template you can get these perfectly straight. You can put them exactly where you want them. Right. It, they are sized to use with Tim's largest tag, which he loves using as well. But, oh, my goodness, the versatility of that is incredible. And this is the one we're going to start with. We're going to do our first demo with that one. So shall I get underway? Absolutely. They are the four products that everyone's going to be, well, I say everyone's going to be in with a chance of winning. And I can already see some names coming through. So uh, thank you for tagging your friends. Hopefully, if they're not watching, they now are. Well, let's hope so. That's a wonderful idea, better man. Now, I'm using some Sizzix Rich Creamy Acrylics. Absolutely gorgeous, these. Do we need to get in a bit closer, Lou? Are we, can you see me all well, right? I can, I can see, I can see you, but that's... Oh, look at those. How about that? Perfect. Ooh, extreme close-up. Big shout out to Kieran on the camera today. Go-to guy for this kind of thing. He's brilliant. There Thank you, you Kieran. Yay. Send them some love. So I'm mixing these two together. I'm blending it with my brayer. And you see, I'm lifting and rolling so I get a nice blend there. And I'm taking, I'm just taking this background. Am I running across there? Now, I'm going for an imperfect look. Okay. I, I could, of course, get a perfectly flat background going on here. But I want that imperfection. I embrace the imperfection. I know Tim's a big fan of that kind of vibe so there you go we've got that going on what i can do as well i can take let's let's take a little bit more of the lighter of the two colors here so a little bit goes a long out. way doesn't it very much so and, and it's like i always say with things like this you know less is more if you need to add more you can always add but you can't always take away so i'm going to take a stamp and i'm going to put that into the acrylic and I'm going to bring it down the side oh. here as well. So nothing fancy there. We're, we're, just, we're just getting a bit messy. Let's take some of the red and we'll go on the other side there. Get that in. And I'll take a palette knife this time because I want to bring in this. I love this color. It's called Mango Tango. Mango Tango. Love and that. Mango Tango, indeed. And it is that gorgeous, rich, ripe mango color. But just a tiny blob. The great thing about these is they're quite flexible. So believe it or not, this this that I'm creating now, I could emboss this later. I could get one of my 3D embossing folders oh, and nice. I could get an emboss going on. And there we are. We just created a little background there. And I'm going to okay. put that to one side to dry. Now, I've had a question and... about that cardstock, Pete, if that's okay. Sure. Um, of course. Becky Holiday has asked, uh, is that white cardstock that you're using also suitable cardstock for card bases as well? Or is it more just for your mixed media? Uh, Absolutely, yeah. It's it's your standard 300 gram uh, white cardstock. It's a smooth cardstock, but you know you can go with watercolor card if you want to get a slight texture in there. It's entirely up to you. Um, but let me show you. Let me show you some other things I've done with different colors. So just simple, simple backgrounds again. There you go, bringing in some mango tango. We've got that lovely lilac. How about something monochromatic? So why not take some black and white? 
Uh, mango tango, and there's a lovely green in there. We've got that purple or lilac. And, oh, it got, just goes on and on and on. But the great thing, the fun thing about this is you can create it how you want, when you want. You can even take, take, take here, let's, let's take this little area here, spritz it with some water, and then I can move that around, and we can actually smooch directly off the card as well. So we're getting another texture going on there. I'm getting it all over my hands. You're starting to realize why I'm wearing my Sizzix penny. Oh, absolutely. Is it a penny? An apron? Very, very important. So I'm either wearing a penny, I'm either getting messy, or I'm in the kitchen. My, my kitchen penny actually is has a picture of Hilda, Hilda Hogden on it. I don't, I'm not sure if you remember Hilda No, Hogden. I don't. I'm sorry. She's a she, character from Coronation Street. I'm sure many of you viewers do remember her, actually. And it says, a woman's work is never done. So that's when I'm in the kitchen. Oh, lovely. So there we go. Are you a Let's good, just wipe. Are you a good cook? I'm a cook. Do you enjoy uh, whether cooking? I'm a good cook or not is subjective. I do enjoy it. I, I am the cook in the household. Uh, my wife just sits back with a glass of wine and lets oh. me get on with it. So, which is the way oh, I the like perfect it, to be husband. Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, I'd say I'm not so. Sure about that? You'd, you'd have to ask her, really. But um, opinion is very. <laughs> I'm just drying this off now, and we're using my heat source, my scissors heat source, which is a dual speed heat source. So it's great if you've got delicate watercolors, or if you want to use embossing powders. Or if you want to, you know, just dry something heavy like this up. It's, it's a wonderful, wonderful tool. So we'll get that and we'll put it to one side. Because what I want to do, these are going to be card fronts. And I'm going to be using those lovely dies. And here are the dies in question from my bold text number two. And you can probably tell from the name that there is a bold text number one, which yes, came along in chapter one. I was going to ask you, does that coordinate well with the first set? Very much so, yeah, in, in terms of size and Brilliant. everything. The next one, I believe number three, is going to be a festive set, Ooh, if yes. I'm not much mistaken. We're getting to so, that time of year again soon. Oh, don't. Oh, actually. <laughs> um, there you go. I'm going, to take this, I'm going to take this background. And what I'm going to do, let's, let's find one. Okay. Lucky is a state of mind. And I'm going to place it onto the car front ladder. I'm just going to put it at a slight angle. Now, today... If we pan across, you'll see I am using not just the switch machine, but the Tim Holtz switch machine. And here, we have the button. That's on. It's ready to go. Love There's it. integral storage as well for all your tools and everything. And it's got a lovely soft opening. So when I do that, ah, brilliant, wow. unbelievable, Perfect. gorgeous, gorgeous. And of course, little Sizzix machine, all the instructions are on your platform. So, so there's handy. never any confusion as to how you need to make your sandwiches and layers now i'll just place that down there take one of my plates incidentally this is a nine inch machine of course it's a or an a4 machine mm -hmm. um but if you prefer say say you love your original sizzix you love the size of it nil desperandum because you can actually use your sizzix platform from your big shot in the larger machine fantastic now, i just feed it in the machine draws it through it's so quiet. It's really, really quiet. It is. And it's so relaxing. Now, the switch. Here it is. If I want to go back the other way, say I, I would need to do a double cut or some 3D embossing. Mm -hmm. You just press that switch and out it comes. Otherwise, it just comes out. There's a little door in the back which opens up. And there it is. So Lovely. Easy. We've cut that out. Now, I can use, I can use the letters from this. Um, of course. You know, don't throw them away. Use them on a separate card. Uh, there we are. We'll just oh, pop that out. I love that background. It's it's a, it, yeah, it's a nice one. I, I like this one. I like this one. Happy accidents. That's what it's all about, Luke. I know you love your mixed media, and I know you love experimenting. Absolutely. And this is the kind of thing that you that that you can have so much fun with. You can just cut a stack of cards, get your brayer out, get your get your palette knife, do some smooching. You know, it just it goes on and on. And 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 the more you do it. The more, the easier it is to control a random technique, and that sounds counterintuitive, but but it's nice to have that level of control. And there we are. Lucky Simple. is a state of mind. We could go on and on. We could create more and more and more. Let's take the one that we did earlier. I think that's that's no, it's still a bit tacky. So I'm going to leave that for a second. But what I will do, Lou, is I will bring in some other examples uh, using the same 
using the same collection so that you make me smile. Just so make quick and easy. Card. Isn't it? Though? Can you imagine having a ton of these and making all these cards? And you can do it in no time at all. That is the beauty of it. You really can. So, oh, let's take some more examples using the same set. Now, how about just, just white? Oh, it's straight into turn, your card turn. base. That's right, straight into the card base, so you don't have to go on a background, you can go straight into the card base. And of course, because of that, they make the great, sh great shaker cards as well. Of course. Really, really cool. Then we've got another one here. That's the same kind of, oops, excuse me. That's the same kind of vibe, but obviously we've used some distress inks. Now, talking about positive and negative, ah. how about that? So you can use both. Now, if we want to get a bit mixed media, a bit grungy, we've got this lovely rusty oh, love that. looking one there. I knew, I knew you'd like that. I knew it. I knew it. And then, how about that? To the moon and back. So we've got a nice little moon on there. That is, uh, the background was created using different distress inks. And it's fun, fun, fun all the way. It's, it's a wonderful, wonderful set. I do enjoy using it, as I've enjoyed using all of these sets. But this one, wow, it's the gift that keeps on giving. It's so versatile. There are so many things you can do with it. Amazing. So there you go. That is bold text number two. And it is one of the bundle of four. Thank you so much, Pete. I will let you have a breather and set up again, and I'll come back to you in just a okay. moment. Thank you. All righty. No problem. There we go, everybody. So that is bold text. Let's, uh, right, let's get my words right because it is Friday. It's not quite Sunday yet, Saturday yet. Okay, bold text number two. No giggling, please. <laughs> From Sizzix. Now that is going to be one of the prizes that we're giving out later today. Now I'm going to just shout out a few people who have been kindly commenting, uh, not just for the prize, if you want to be in with a chance of winning a bundle of the new chapter two products, all you need to do is tag your friends. If you don't have a tag, a friend to tag, I've seen actually something really clever in the comments say that you don't have a friend to tag other people will tag you you can tag them back you know that, it's an entry you don't have to know that person we will get your individual postal addresses off of you each so don't worry about sharing those with people um if you win obviously <laughs> so let's see so fifi stamper i'm over on youtube at the moment fifi stamper says fabulous sample she has chapter one set and she has this one on pre-order yes you can pre-order the items uh, it won't be very long before they come out and she also says woohoo a little woohoo at the end as well um, we have got Louise Noah just said amazing cards. Uh, Jade Kerry said they look fab and so simple too. They really are. Pete has this amazing knack for creating cards that are ultra simple and absolutely beautiful. So amazing that you'd think he'd spent, he probably has spent hours planning and thinking about it. He makes it look good, doesn't he? He, he knows how to do that. Um, so in, you will find over on Facebook that we have got a pinned post that will take you, a link that will take you directly to all of the chapter two products. The dies are from just 9 99 but there is that woven embossing folder as well. Um, there are all sorts over there. Honestly, go and have a look at all the new items. Now talking about embossing folders, Craft Stash today have got their deal of the day where the embossing folders are um, on offer. There's, let me just see, I need to check my details here because I've written it down somewhere. 3D embossing folder, oh there you go, £6.49. That's the, that's the figure I was looking for. The 3D embossing folders, a selection of those, just £6.49. Beautiful, if you've never seen 3D embossing, honestly, and when you've got something like the switch machine, it's absolutely perfect. Saying that, the black switch machine that Pete was using, that is in stock at the moment at Craft Stash. So if you've been waiting for that to come back into stock, it is there now. Um, also, I must remind you, triple points today. So if you're going to be buying something large, like your switch machine, you're going to get an amazing amount of points on that now. Um, Mr. Hughes, are you ready for me to come back to you? Oh, yeah. oh yes, he's always ready. Here we go, more inspiration from the lovely Pete. Okay, now we're going to be looking at abstract faces. I said it's a humdinger of a set. It really, really is. Now, stick around after this one because I've got some great samples to show you. But this is the set in all its glory. And you know what? It's something, these shapes you can use with, some of others, Tim did a uh, set called Scribbles and Splats. He did one called Media Marks. All of these work together seamlessly. And this is all about really letting your imagination run riot. Uh, the stuff that you can do with this. Let me show you again. This is the board. 
This is the kind of idea. It's kind of Picasso-esque, mm -hmm. uh, if you will, but more of a modern twist on that. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you. We're going to do something this time. We're going to get a little bit grungy and messy. Um, yeah. And I've got some bits of card ready to go. Now, you can see I've used this die and I've cut it from black and I've okay. attached it to this card. Now, what I'm going to do with that is place this die over the top because I'm kind of going for a faux embossed look. Right. And back onto my platform and simply run that through the machine. So this is going to be the base of the face. No, uh, I, I didn't mean to make that rhyme, but there you go. <laughs> well, at least he's um, not saying words you shouldn't do, Pete. <laughs> not like me today. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. but when we actually use our techniques, I hope you can see it clearly. I haven't thought this through because black on black isn't great for TV. It's fine. I'm sure um, we will, it will all be revealed very soon. Yeah, it will. It will. So we'll have to uh, suspend our disbelief and let our imagination run, right? <laughs> I'm putting these little shapes on here, ready to go. So that's all on the black card. So there's a lot of dyes in this set, isn't there, Pete? There is a lot of dyes. I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure. I think there's about 13 or 14. There may actually be more than that. Um, but of course, the more you have, the more creative scope it gives you. So I'm going to run that again through my switch machine. We'll place that onto the platform. And always when we're using wafer thins, it's between the two plates uh, and using the platform and the wafer thin die adapter. And just, it's so relaxing, this machine. You just let it do the work. You don't have to turn the handle. You can tidy up while it's coming through the other end, ready for the next bit. Lovely. And out it comes. Very quick, really, isn't it? It, it is quick. It is quick. And you know what? The, my, I am very much, I'm a big shot guy. You know, the yeah. original big shot. That is my day-to-day -day machine, but I so enjoyed using this one. And I found that I will switch, no pun intended, I will switch to this machine on occasion for certain things. Um, but yeah, and, and being able to use my, my uh, Sizzix my big shot platform through the machine yeah. is absolutely wonderful. So what that means with this machine is whatever Sizzix technologies you have in the past, you can use them all on this. So we do like right. to future proof you as well. Absolutely. So that's where a nine inch machine comes in really handy because you know, you know that whatever you've got or whatever you need or whatever we're going to release, it's always going to work on this machine. So there we have it. And then finally, finally, those, those lips. So we've got all these little bits now. Lovely. They're all ready to go. And I'm going to stick them down onto this. Or rather, I'm not because we're going to do the old Blue Peter thing and say, <laughs> here's one I made earlier. Now, I hope you can pick that up. If I you think, yes. Will... Can you get the detail in there? Yes, I can see it at that angle. Yeah, absolutely, with the light shining on it. Perfect. Okay, well, that's great. So I'll sweep these to one side. I'll make another one with those. Up. And I've torn a piece of black card. Now, this is where my embossing folder comes in. This is my woven embossing folder. This is the one that makes that lovely burlap or hessian pattern that we love so. And I'm going to spritz it with water. Now, when you're 3D embossing, spritzing is quite important because what it does, it allows the fibers of the card to stretch. Mm -hmm. It gives you a much cleaner, much deeper, much more detailed emboss so let's take my plate out of the way and this time i'm using a single cutting plate okay and i'm also taking away my wafer thin die adapter so i'm working directly on the base but you know what if you weren't sure if you're watching this and think well that's quite confusing it's all here for you it's all written down everything's there so there's never ever any confusion now let's pop that back in I love these folders and like I say Pete at the moment a craft stash we've got a deal of the day where we've got a selection of them for just £6.49 it's an absolute bargain that, that is a bargain um, what you've got there you've got triple points it's like oh Hello. my goodness <laughs> and the newest product all the time yay I know. How bad that? It's the place to be. Well, do you know what? It's it's funny. Joking aside, and I, I'm not contractually obliged to say this at all, but Craft Stash is my go-to place. If I'm looking for new products, if I'm looking for what's hot and what's not, that's the place I go because I know you guys have got your finger on the pulse Absolutely. of what the latest things in crafting are. You've got you've got all the best brands there, Sizzix included, of course. 
Um, so yeah, it's kind of my go-to place. If I'm doing any research, you know, on, on different products, mm -hmm. I go to Crabstash. I see what you've got. I see the descriptions. I read all about it. So, Amazing. So yeah. I love that. I, I love that. Say that. Did I? Heard it. Heard it from one of the biggest craft celebrities. Oh, get away with Shops at Craft Stash. <laughs> yeah, he does. Absolutely. And, and I get all your updates as well because I, I signed the newsletter, and so so I know what's coming out. I'm ahead of the game. You the are. I'm using this oh. is uh, Patina Green. This is a decor product. And I'm going to. I'm going to use it. Do you use this yourself? Is it? Is it? Do you use their patina, their media stuff? Yes, I do, and this is my favourite colour of everything ever. I'll oh, get away. Yeah, go, absolutely. I, love, I, do, I do. Beautiful. I do love this. I'm going over this panel now. This panel, I've actually stamped on it, and I've used clear embossing powder. Right. So when that dries, I'll be able to take most of that away. Now, remember what we were saying about that, that black, and we couldn't quite see what was going on. Well, now what I'm doing is I'm dragging it across the surface, and as I do, it reveals all that lovely detail. There we are. So there was method in my madness <laughs> to some degree. I believe it. I do believe it. We've got so of many people watching while you're doing that. Um, oh, that's wonderful. I'll just read a couple of comments. Uh, Crafty sure, makes um, Crafty makes on YouTube says how effective they look. Um, Lynn Clifton says brilliantly easy cards. Well, that's it about Sizzix, isn't it? It is brilliantly easily. I think that's a fantastic description for them. It sure is. Yeah, yeah. We do like to keep it simple. Um, we, we, what we like to what I like to do is have stuff that looks really impressive, mm -hmm. but then to show just how simple it is and i think me being a bloke it's definitely you know when folks are watching they think well if a bloke can do it how hard can it be i, I mean, would never say talk. that but i'm glad you've said it <laughs> yeah here you go now this is this is dried off this is this is this is dried up it's pretty much i'm just going to take my heat gun just in case okay I so this. so you do want it dry before you do the next stage very much so very much so okay so there we are. Uh, now, I'm going to take, I've got a paper towel. I've got a damp paper towel. You can use a cloth. You can use whatever you want because it washes right out. And I'm going to start to lift some of this away. Um, and again, the detail will show up even better. So we're getting that lovely patina. And you can control how much you take away mm -hmm. as well. Now, the same with my lovely uh, background, this burlap background. I'm exposing the top color. And this one, because we've heat embossed with clear, when I go over that, the whole thing sort of comes to the fore. Oh, look um, at that. You can see that coming. It's, it's a technique that I really enjoy. Then. Now, there you go. We want to get it looking a bit more grungy, a bit more careworn. So I'm going to use some quinacridone gold. You know, it took me years to actually learn the name of this stuff. I still stuff. can't. I'm glad you said Can it. You know, <laughs> quinacridone, I'm probably, I'm probably, I'm going to have to speak to Andy Skinner. I'm probably mispronouncing it completely. He's maybe watching, shaking his head, going, oh my goodness. <laughs> but um, there you go. Um, I'm picking some of this up. I've thinned it down. And mm -hmm. what I'm going to do with this brush is drag it down. So it's giving me that kind of, that rust look, it's a wonderful oh, colour for getting this yeah, kind, of a, kind of a technique as well. So there we are. And I can I can further, now I could spritz that, I can lift some of it off, I can do whatever I please wonderful. because it's my work. Absolutely. So, there you go. And no so, one can do it better go. than you. Oh, I'm sure. Like I said, there, there's that guy in Arizona. I believe he's quite good. I but, think uh, he'd be pretty impressed with the way you use his products though, Pete. Oh, Bless him. Yeah, well, no, he's, uh, he's, he's not easy to please because obviously when you're using his products, he's, you know, he wants it, he wants it right, but he's such a generous, yeah. you know, to, uh, as a contributor, he's so, he's so sort of encouraging, mm -hmm. uh, um, and as he has been down the years, and yeah, and he kind of just lets us get on with it, trusts us to do, to do it, uh, sort of Tim's way and our way as well, because, you know, one of the things, one of the things about about Tim's work is hard to believe, but some people don't go for that kind of style. But with the dyes, it's not just, you know, it's not just about mixed media. It's not about grunge. I know this one is, we're going down that route, but you know what? If you use them clean, if you use them with lovely cardstock, they're just 
fantastic die collections. Absolutely. I'm going to put a bit of stamped detail on this as well, just coming in I'm there. I'm so excited to art. see this all put together. How can, so, so am I, actually. I'm <laughs> blind. I can't, re can't remember how, how it all went together in the end. But I'm going to stick down. We've got that lovely background. We've got that lovely... Um, burlap or woven as the name. Now remember these two die sets, uh, or rather this die set and this embossing folder are actually in the giveaway bundle today. So mm -hmm. let's take the double-sided tape off the back of there. And I'm going to go on white cut. I want this kind of contrast. Um, so I'm going on pure white cut. I haven't inked it. I haven't done anything to it. And let's take, oh, I'm actually going to use the edge of my scissors because I want to just to stress the edge of that. So I'm just rubbing them across. We do have a tool for this. I left it upstairs because I'm a bit of an idiot at times. But you know what? There's so much to remember, Lou, isn't there? You know, there when you're is. going like to, yeah. you're doing, say, a show on creating craft or channel and that, it's like you have to check, you have to double check. And So just give us a little, while you're just doing that, just give us an insight into yourself there at Sizzix HQ. So you've got the studio. Do you not usually craft in the studio then? Do you have somewhere no, else? No, this, this is somewhere where we, where we shoot our videos it's somewhere where we um you know so if we're doing if we're doing a live if we're shooting a, a promo yeah. if we're doing a call to action everything's here with this lovely background you my i mean you, you'd laugh if if you saw my work area it's um i think slightly untidy uh, so you know what you're a true crafter that's all well, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I know. I understand that. You understand that. Uh, it's That's the way it is, unfortunately, yeah. but there you go. Absolutely. So I'm going to take this one, okay. and I've used some, uh, some of our lovely double-sided tape there. Uh, I'm going to pop that there and take the other one. Let's peel off the backing. So by using that foam tape, you're lifting each element up so it can stand out a bit more because you've got the Yeah, hand. it's... It's giving it a bit more depth, breathing a bit more life into it, and it lets sort of light and colour, uh, light and shade do its do its work. I'm, you know, I want I've changed my mind. I'm going to put it there actually. So there we are. We got a nice balance. That, my friends, is that. And how quick was it? You know, and it all, all started with black card. Love That's that. where it started. But I'm going to show you. I'm going to grab some others and show you some of the other things that I've done using this. Now, if, if you want to go, if you want to use your distress inks, then we've got something like that. So, so bright, such a, like... so different from the card that you just had there. And, and this one is, you remember our acrylics at the beginning? We yes. actually made some nice boards with the acrylics and spread mm -hmm. them all out and did that. We've used our Boltex there. And uh, here's another one here. This one again, slightly Ooh. different, a little more industrial again. Oh, that's got to be my favourite of... so far. Love. So oh, far, well, oh, but then. That... Oh, oh, you're torn now, aren't you? I know. It's because it's got well, teal in it. <laughs> let me show you some of the fun that I've been having with this set. Because if you want to go clean, now I thought, you know what? These are gorgeous shapes, and some of them reminded me. And I'm ju I'm just going through my collection. Here. Some of them reminded me of Henri Matisse. You know, those lovely shapes? Oh, so I yeah. did that, and I put just some of the shapes down, not attempting to make a face, no. just looking at the gorgeous shapes. I thought, oh, hey, Love you know that. what? I could really have some fun with this. And I was thinking of the different artists. And, of course, I did say at the beginning, it's kind of Picasso-esque. Mm -hmm. Well, how about something oh, like that? that? We really sort of splashed the colour around there. And I thought, oh, Picasso, how far... That's Can we amazing. take this one? And then, of course, I thought of Mr. Andy Warhol. Of course. These so are amazing. I mean, the versatility now, we, in one set is phenomenal. If you want to go with a female artist, how about that one? And that is, of course, Frida Kahlo, the wonderful Mexican yep. artist there with some gorgeous flowers in her hair. Of um, what about a female subject? How about the girl with the pearl earring? So... Oh. Look That's another that. way to go with it. And then, you know what? I've got one more, and it's the material girl herself, <laughs> Miss Madonna. There you go. Crazy for you. So, wow. you know, lots of versatility, lots of fun that can be had with it. And if, if we look at, I'm just going to show you a quick board, Lou, because it shows the kind of this thought process. So if I take the girl with a pearl earring, mm -hmm. and, you, and you look at the way that the, this headscarf comes down there, you think, well, that shape's not actually in the set. But if you attach these to cut and then cut it with the heart and then you take 
that same heart die and make a further cut, right, you I get see. this element. So that, that's the way to kind of put these together. Um, another way, like Frida Kahlo, if you, if you look at this one, so obviously we've, we've cut these shapes and the three mm -hmm. shapes and, and this sort of half circle. Then if you take the darker pink one, cut that in half and put it onto the right. lighter one, you're getting that, that sort of shape. You're getting the face looking like that. And if I bring up the actual card, I you can see. see. Yeah. So what I suggest to people is say, is just open the pack, just play around, experiment, have some fun. It's so versatile. And even if you just use it for those wonderful shapes as background, then you can't go far wrong. And that is abstract faces and yeah, and the woven embossing folder. Thank you so, so much. Are you okay if My we brother. come back to you in a few minutes for another yeah, demo? no problem. He'll just yeah, keep going away. all afternoon if I ask him. All afternoon. <laughs> Thank you, Pete. Do you know what? The comments have just absolutely blown up since Pete has just started showing all of those different artists, um, in, artist inspired cards. Um, Elaine Jasper says she loves seeing the thought process there. Uh, Rena Hurst says very clever. Uh, Maria Huss says he understood the assignment. I think, Pete, you really, really did. Uh, Maureen York, fantastic makes. Um, Sue Green loves the Picasso one. They are beautiful and so unique, so different. Not something that you'd usually get um, on a card that's a handmade card at least. So um, just so that you all are, uh, if you're just joining me, just so that you catch up with all of the deals and offers and such, we are looking at the brand new chapter two dies from Sizzix and we've got the lovely Pete Hughes demonstrating those for us. We are giving away a bundle. All we are asking you to do is tag a crafty friend in the comments and you and your crafty friend that you've tagged can win a bundle. Now we are giving away in total over 200 pounds worth of products so that's an awful lot we've also got all day today over on craft stash triple points if you've shopped with us before you'll know that you get points so a point for every pound when you're shopping but that has tripled today so make the most of that because very soon you'll then be able to spend your points now personally because points last for 365 days before they expire from when you get them so personally I like to start at the beginning of the year shop all year and then at Christmas I buy myself a gift so why not try that out or maybe do it for your birthday annually for your birth something like that um, a nice idea there so we've also got brand new Sue Wilson in today as well go and have a look at that on craft stash when you go to craft stash basically I would say when you wake up in the morning and you start scrolling through your social media and you know your Instagram and your Facebook your YouTube whatever you do with your cup of tea every morning go to craft stash make it one of your bookmarks and go to new in or new launches or however it shows up on your mobile device whatever it is check what's new in today there's always a bargain section as well and that's ever changing too so you won't miss out on anything but the best way of course to keep up with everything is to sign up to the craft stash emails um, one more thing today as well um, we do have another chance for you to win now I'd like you to do this after the live so the post will go live after the after the live over on YouTube if you're not one of our winners today from tagging your friend you can go over to the YouTube post that's in the community tab so find craft stash on YouTube across the top on our page you'll have all these different headers and one of them says community go on to there and you'll see it's basically a bit like a blog really we've got lots of posts there and the latest post will be to enter the competition again to win the third prize and that will be picked this time next week so if you're maybe watching this a little bit later not live or maybe you you can't work out how to tag a friend or you don't have a, a friend that's crafty or on social media that you can tag by all means go over to there after the live and enter that way instead right now we want to more inspiration because this is what we love from Pete. Uh, are you ready, Mr. Hughes? I'm ready. I've got my cup of coffee. I'm, uh, I'm digging into the afternoon, Lou. To be honest with you, it's going to be no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. No, I'm going to I'm going to try and do this without slurping. So no, go on, you slurp. That's fine. I can sing Hello, if do. you want for a minute. Okay. Well, we're good. We're good. We're good. I've had my coffee and I'm ready to go. <laughs> Brilliant. So, go yeah, for we're... it. What are we looking at right. now? We are looking at the last um, set of dice in our bundle, which is Modern Floristry, which lovely. is this lovely little collection here. And you know what? You know, you said about how different some of the things were before. That's the thing about Tim. 
he wants to give you guys something different. Yeah, we can get flower dyes, we can get butterfly dyes, you know, but he wants to give it a fresh spin. And that gives your work a fresh spin as well. So mm -hmm. he really looks out for you all. So this is modern floristry. This is the set of dyes, absolutely gorgeous, lovely size. Again, we've got some great samples to show you in a second. But what I'm gonna do, we're gonna do something, we're, we're gonna go almost monochromatic, but I, I wanna get a little background going on. So one of my favorite color blends is crushed olive and broken china. This... <gasps> no, I used that today. No, Those... you didn't. Get I did, away. those two colors. Yeah, when we spoke earlier this morning, I don't know if you noticed, I had a mess on my table. That's what I was using, those two colours. Go House on. Uh, do you know strength. what? Is it a blend that you particularly like, or was it just blues today and that greens. you happen to be? Honestly, blues and greens are absolutely my favourite, and I think that's why I love teal, because it's kind of a mix of the two. Oh, and they, that, that, that colour that they yeah. create in the middle, there's, there's nothing quite <laughs> like it. I do like experimenting with the different colours to see, mm -hmm. to see what I can come up with as well. So... I'm going to actually, I'm going to press these into my mat as well. And I'm going to do a little bit of a, a little bit of a smooch there. Um, over the top of your blending? Okay. Yeah, over the top of the blend. So you see how oh, it's kind that. of, yeah, maybe, maybe get some more in there. And then next up, where, where that, where I've spritzed that, I'm, I'm actually going to take my, my palette knife and I'm going to go in there and I'm going to flick that. This is one way, if you like splatter techniques, mm -hmm then this okay. is a great way to control the splatter. You can make it as big or as small as you like. So, for example, if I go in again with the um, with the broken china, what I can do by, see, I've got my thumb on here. So yep. the closer to the tip I go, the smaller the spread. Okay. If I go far away, I get big old blobs and it spreads out more. So it's a great way to Go control ahead. that technique, which again would be a random technique um but yeah ran controlling random techniques that's where we're at today see it's little so, tips like that pete that we love coming to you for you just throw them in left right and center the whole hour yeah oh i've, I've, I've been doing this a long time <laughs> the man and boy 20 years so yeah it's kind of things that but you know what it, it's it's funny i sometimes i pick things up from from other people and relive them or or something, you know, I could see somebody's work and it would inspire or send me off on a different tangent. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the thing that we talk about. And something that Tim talks about a lot is curiosity. Staying curious, always trying to stretch yourself as a maker um, and having more versatility, more, more arrows to your quiver, as it were, more strings to your bow, lots of mixed metaphors going on there. Um, but yeah, you know, the, the more that you have to play with, the more the more sort of techniques that you have at your disposal, the more creative you can be. It's, yep. it's that simple. Um, so there you are. There's our background. Now, what I'm, what I'm also going to do here, I'm going to take some of these lovely little little dyes. Now, we've got here, you can see, it's kind of like a little, uh, some little lines and some dots. And let's just press. See, I've been lazy, and I didn't actually take the bits out from last time. Oh, That's I'm shocking. terrible for that. Absolutely um, terrible. Forgivable. But yeah, it's one thing doing it in the studio, but I shouldn't be doing it while, I'm, while we're doing while we're doing a live. That's, that's unforgivable. Don't there worry we about it. Well, you're, you're rushing and you're trying to get as much in as possible for the viewers who will forgive you. Oh, yeah, very much so. Very much so. <laughs> yeah, I, I, would, I would go a lot, a lot slower. If, if I were doing this up there, but uh, that's what that's what I like about this. You know, you sort of you're trying to find a compromise between sharing ideas and getting it done as well. But you know what? There's, there's I will not dip below a minimum standard, madam. I will not. <laughs> Absolutely, we wouldn't expect you to. You're professional to the to the last second. Oh well, yeah, maybe I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's running through. This is going through my black Tim Holtz branded switch machine. It's got his lovely signature in silver on the top there. Um, and let's take that out, and so we can see there we are. So this will help our background. So when wow. I put this onto the base card, I'm going to raise it up slightly. So we're getting we're getting a little more kind of interest going on there. And you know what? I am going to actually these out aren't you good i know you know what i wish yeah but but i didn't bring my digress i could have done this in seconds but there we have it so 
we'll pop those to one side. There's my background. Now I'm going to cut some lovely florals. And this is where I say we're going to get slightly more monochromatic because I'm just going to cut these out of white. And of course, we're going to get the contrast because they're going to go over the um, over that lovely color there. So these All are right. just the ones that I'm using today. These four. Um, and one one of the things I love about these because the shapes are such knockouts. Just in flat color, you wouldn't believe some of the lovely backgrounds we've made for the. Well, I will. Be show, you will believe because I'll show you later. Actually. Yeah. But um, we'll run those through again. I can be sorting out all my different. Oh, I forgot the white one, but I'll do that in a second. No problem. You can be popping the machine. bits out of your dies while that's running through. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, maybe, maybe we should take some of our own advice on that, actually. But there we are. Let's take those lovely bits out. Um, some of them already fallen out, which is what I like to see. So we'll tap that out there. And then finally, this lovely little flower here. So how many, great. Sorry. Uh, sorry, carry on, Luke. I was going to say, how, do you know how many dyes are in that set? Um, I do. I'll just reach across to the actual packaging, and I will tell you there are eleven dies in this set. In the uh, in the faces, we have nineteen dies, and uh, in the uh, Boltex, we have seven. Lovely. Dies. Lovely. So let's Thank let's you. take this because what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do some some flower centers as well. So let's take my platform again, move that out to one side. I'm going to do some flower centers, but I'm also going to be doing, um, where was it? I want my leaves, so I've got my two lovely leaves that are going to go on there. I need a bigger piece. Da, da, da. Talk amongst yourselves. Uh, so there. if you want me to talk amongst yourselves, I will just answer a question, if that's okay. Oh, sure. Please do. Please um, do. Now, Carol Lewis has asked the question, um, do we get triple points on the switch machine? Now, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? Um Carol Lewis, I have looked at my emails from this morning. I've scrolled right down to the tiny print at the bottom, looked at all the terms and conditions. I cannot see any reason why you won't get your triple points on your machine. So, and when you do click on the uh, triple points banner on Craft Stash, it takes you straight to a switch machine amongst other products as well. So definitely, if you're thinking about buying one, today's going to be the one to purchase it and get those triple points. Thank you, Pete. No problem. That's, that's like... Triple points on the switch, so it's like getting a full tank of petrol and using your nectar card, isn't it? Because you know, <laughs> yeah. a full tank of petrol is a lot more than it used to be. Let's uh, it, it is this last few weeks, yes. Yeah, no kidding, no <laughs> kidding. There we are. So now what I've done, again, I've cut my lovely leaves and I've got some lovely bits of silver as well. I've got these lovely silver oh. flower centers. So we're going to pop those in the middle there as well. I've got some of those little dots is that mirror card from the opulence um, this is yes packs. that's right it's sizzix opulent now if you're not aware and I'm, i know you guys have got it all on the website yeah. the sizzix opulent card we have silver we have gold we have rose gold we have charcoal and we have ivory and in each pack it's a really lovely weight of card but mm. in each pack you're getting five different surfaces so you're getting matte metallic you're getting mirror you're getting brushed metallic you are getting glitter and um pearl. there's one other which escaped yes the pearl eyes yes that's exactly right we make a great oh it don't we really just do. i do you know i love sizzix products can you tell yeah well, yeah it, it's kind of coming through it really is <laughs> just a bit just um, a bit let's let's go with the uh let's have a look see what we've got here now uh i've got all these lovely bits sort of swimming around and I'm going to take I'm going to take this and I'm going to use again I'm going to make a scribble on my okay. craft mat there with my adhesive because I, I it's so much easier to put the die cuts into the adhesive than the other way around take the adhesive depending on you know some people they they use um they use a, a fine tip applicator which is absolutely great yeah. also I just this is I know some people like to put it on the back of the hand don't oh they? I can't I can't <laughs> Well, I can't. I can't because my hands are hairy, so it's it's not it's not good. That's not my. <laughs> That's not my but reason. I, I know, but I know you haven't got gorilla hands. I, I know that. <laughs> I know that. 
I just know I just don't like messy hands. I don't like dirty hands. So. Um, oh, okay. Just one okay. of my well, things. You picked the wrong. I got to tell you, you picked the wrong job. You really have. I know I have. So, it's terrible, but I love yeah. it. Um, can I just ask you while we're on that subject for anyone who sure, might be do. new and watching, uh, what is the mat underneath that you've put your glue on? Because most people will be thinking, oh, you've just spread glue on your desk there. No, this is this is like a standard kind of a craft mat. It's sort of a Teflon. Uh, they're pretty much industry standard. Yeah. They're very, very useful. Uh, and so whatever uh, you're using, whether you're using your distress products or if you're using acrylics or adhesives or anything like that, the great thing about them is they come up clean afterwards. So, yeah, that's what that is. Lovely. Thank cut, you. Let's cut some of these down. And actually, you know, what? while we're on that subject, we, we're doing, with all the designers, we're coming together and we're talking about, we're going to talk about different products that we love. Because sometimes you make assumptions that are things that I've been using for years that some of the other guys don't necessarily know about. Absolutely. So we're going to have what we call a designer share day Ooh. where we, we talk about our favorite products, um, what makes them so great and how you can use them. And so just sort of sharing and combining our, our uh, collective knowledge yeah, that, that'll be fun. Yeah, I, fun. Well, that sounds really exciting, actually. I just love getting together with crafters and just chatting because we've all had different totally. experiences, haven't we? Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, and there's some things which, which I think that maybe, oh, th this is the industry standard, but, you know, things have moved on. And there's a new there's a new sheriff in town sometimes. And, I, you know, I need somebody to bring that kind of to my attention as well, which is, which is, which is a nice wake-up call. So of course. we're coming in with a little bit of a pale grey. It's a lovely uh, text stamp. So just to add a bit more, bit more interest. And finally, let's start putting our lovely card together. So I'll bring that one down there, perhaps, and see see how it kind of pops out now because because we've really gone does. against against the colour. I mean, you know what? Even if it's white on white, it's going to look stunning. Oh, really absolutely. Is. And I love but that it's all about the dyes. Sorry, carry on. Sorry. I love there's nothing simpler, Pete, than cutting white cardstock or any cardstock. You've not gone in, spent hours colouring it, and it's yeah. looking. I mean, to be honest, the colour that you did add was so quick and simple to do. Um, you really make this accessible yeah, it, for all levels of crafters. Well, the thing is, I, what I do, what I do love, and especially if I, if I'm running workshops, uh, which which obviously we haven't been able to for a no. while. But what I love is to come out with, with a sample and say, you're going to make this today. And there might be some beginners there because with a workshop, you, you tend to get absolute beginners and you get intermediate and you get some mm -hmm. people who are quite advanced. Yeah. And you want to try and give something something to everybody. You know? um, so you want to show them something which is like, so the beginners go, oh my goodness, I can't, I can't do that. But then at the <laughs> end of it, they've created something which is exactly the same as yours because... The techniques are simple, but they look impressive. Of course. But there's nothing to them, really. No. So, oh, I've got one more thing. And this is something I stamped with one of Tim's lovely stamp sets. So I've got a sentiment going on. I'm going to put that maybe about there. There we are. And then finally, last but not least, I'm going to turn that over. I'm going to get some of my double sided tape wherever I put it. It's I can't help you there. Somewhere. Does this sound eerily familiar, does it, Lee? Oh, so um, familiar. I need a Kieran watching what I'm doing to see if he can see where, where I put I know, my maybe, things. Maybe, maybe Kieran can sort of sing as a song while I'm looking for my double sided tape. He's shaking his head here. I don't think, I don't think we're going to get a song from him today. But anyway, but anyway, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. If I had my double sided, oh, do you know what? I just think, oh, it was the there word. it is. <laughs> there you go. So we'll. I was actually going to ask then. because I've started keeping what? bits in the drawer of my switch, which I've never had a machine that I can do that with, um, and it's brilliant. But I still keep forgetting well, you... they're in there. <laughs> yeah, you're you're absolutely right. And what I use for mine, because I've got mine upstairs. This is actually just the one we use for love. In mine, I've got my die brush, I've got my die pick, yeah. I've got my tools for pa uh, my paper sculpting tools as well. All the go-to things that I'm going to use um. time and again. So that's what goes in mine. So, so there we are. And that's it. I mean, so simple, so Brilliant. quick, so easy, so kind of random. You know, it doesn't matter what you do. It's always going to look good. And as I said, you want to go monochromatic? 
then you can change it to something like that. that. That's pretty? just using rose gold and white. Or if you want to go, now, this is modern floristry, and these are some of the shapes that are in, you know, these background shapes mm -hmm. and there. Just, just get the color. And this is all Sizzix color, so it's our muted collection. It's our cardstock collection. This is something, again, as I say, this is just simple colors. Getting those colors mm -hmm. right, obviously, is quite important. Then this one is slightly more neutral, oh, more muted. Different. So we've created kind of backgrounds. Uh, now and um, I've just put these stamped sentiments over the top. That's a lovely color combination. That Wonderful. one. I noticed um, these stamped yeah, sentiments. Do... Are these ones that are new as well in the um, chat with the chapter two? These are new. In, these are new in Sizzix chapter two. So these are going to be coming out at the beginning of April. And right. these were designed by a young man called Pete Hughes. I think he has a bright future in our industry. Oh. I don't know. This, there's high hopes for him, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I've got uh, a feeling. He's really promise. Now, I've seen these today, so I've got a feeling maybe you can actually already pre-order them on Craft Stash. Way. Just saying. Well, I highly recommend that you do. Just saying. There you go. And there's one more. And you know, we were talking about Mango Tango. Oh, uh, yes. With our acrylics. This is a Mango Tango cardstock. So we call Gorgeous. this a color story. So a color story, it leads. So our gilding waxes, our beads and sequins, our cardstock, our acrylics, everything goes in that color palette. So you can fit it together seamlessly without and we we do some of the heavy lifting for you there so there Amazing. you go oh, oh there's a couple more things now you might want to oh. use those as stencils now oh. look, look at those there's a couple of little burlap bags there and we've actually stenciled through using some of the die cuts from that so endless versatility there lou fabulous How about that? Amazing that there's so much you can do with them. I mean, for one die set, that that's just versatility maximum, isn't it? Amazing. It sure is. Now, Thank listen, you. Be, before before we uh, before we wrap up, I don't know if you've got time to come back to me. I can show you some of the other Tim Holtz chapter two. Do you know what we'd love to? We're ne we're never going to turn down seeing anything else from you, Pete. So absolutely, I'll give Fabulous. you just a moment to reset and have some more no coffee. Problem. No <laughs> Thank problem. Thank you, Pete. Thank you. Aren't we in for a treat? I thought we were all done with Pete after that demonstration, but he's got a little bit more for us, so stay tuned for that. So just to recap, if you just joined us, you've got a couple more minutes then while Pete's doing the next last sort of little bit. I'm not sure if he's demonstrated, just showing us a bit, but we'll see. Um, but we've got a couple more minutes for you to enter to tag yourself and a friend. Don't have to tag yourself. Tag a friend and potentially win some of that bundle. Now that's over 200 pounds worth of product. We're splitting between three of you, two of you. So you and your friend could be winning whenever Pete's finished. Really, I was about to choose a winner, but we'll do it when Pete's finished instead. So you've still got chance to enter. If you've already entered on this live, when we finish the live, go over to YouTube channel if you're not watching there already. Go to the community tab on the Craft Stash page and go to the blog post there. I say blog post, the community post, the news post, whatever you want to call it. You'll see the competition to enter it that way. And we will pick that winner on Friday. So you've got a few more days left to enter. The chapter two die sets are from only $9.99. And as um, Pete just showed a little bit of a sneak preview of some of his designs coming up, I'm sure I've seen them this morning for pre-order. So go and have a look at all of that. They're ready and waiting for you. Some you can order and be delivered now. Some will be pre-ordered. Just a warning though, if you are ordering products for both pre-order and available now, there's the likelihood that your order will be held back until your pre-order products come in. So I would suggest make two separate orders so you get the ones that are available now delivered to you now. Um, and of course, if you're ordering over £30 in the UK, you're going to get your free delivery as well. As well as your triple points today. There's so much to go to Craft Stash for at the moment. Um, Pete looks like he's all set up and ready so we're going to come back with double thumbs up so we'll come back to him already thank Yay, you Pete. double thumbs up yeah but already uh, i just want to show you take you through some of the last uh that I says in this chapter um uh, where do i start okay now wildflowers yes. we know tim's had wildflowers wildflowers one wildflowers two wild mm -hmm. super super popular this is a slightly different take on the wildflower thing this is called artsy stems and these oh. are more sort of modern kind of abstract mm. wildflowers absolutely gorgeous wow. um let me just show you some of the things that we've made with them there you go 
Um, so that one's lovely. now the background, that lovely burlap background is mm -hmm. using our uh, embossing folder, our woven embossing folder. Then we've got this one using bold text number two as a background. Um, it's cutting it in different colors. And how about something really super monochromatic? The words come from one of our bold text number two, or the word rather. The word, uh, yeah. Then this one's a little more sort Gorgeous. of abstract, a little more mixed media. We've done a sort of a, a faux embossed technique. Mm -hmm. And this one, actually, I love the simplicity of this one because what I've actually done with that, I've die cut it from black card. Right. And then I've applied uh, embossing ink to that, then a layer of silver embossing powder. Mm -hmm. Then what I've done is I've reapplied it and reapplied it. So it's built up. So, so it sick. kind of looks like a metal sort it of does. And do you know what? That's a very similar to what I've seen you do with uh, some of your own other products before. I can't think of the name of them. This, the frames we had, the squares, the circles, the hearts. That's and right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a great it's a really great technique. It really is good fun. So lovely, they are beautiful. Is, that is artsy stems. Now this this I love this one. This is silhouette birds. There are nine birds in total, and you can see the edges are quite squared off. Tim wanted to go for this vibe, and oh. these are the size of the birds that you're getting. Uh, they're on all different aspects. They look great. Now you can use the stems from the artsy stems as a kind of a wire that they sit on. Of course. But let's show you a few things. Now this one, I've used a bit of creative masking to get <laughs> a couple of magpies there. Again, oh, of a bit two, of creative. Of course. How about that one? There you go. There's a robin redbreast. Is it too early for Christmas? No. No. We'll say I'm being a bit late for Christmas. Of course so. not. Do you know what? They <laughs> actually look much larger on those cards than I picked. When I see the die set, I thought, oh, they, they must be quite small if there's nine of them. They're good sizes, aren't they? It is a good size. And it's a lovely size for card making. It, it yes. really is. Oh. Um, so th that's just... the just as a simple black silhouette and here's another one as well wow. so this is going to be a favorite of many people because if you like doing these sorts of cards well you've got lots going on sometimes a little bird in there a heart something like that mm -hmm. it's um ah oh, and they're just they are so the artwork is phenomenal thank you mr holtz thank yes, you very thank much thank you thank you now, both next up we have this is uh, brushstroke plows number four now of course number four suggests there are three that have gone before it which is absolutely yep. right so we have different different styles different what have you and it's meant to it's meant to mimic a sort of a kind of a watercolor floral and here is a board that i've made up using some distress oxides Lovely. to create the colors let's take uh, a card that was made again we got boltex number two well, that's actually bold text number one. But we've got our burlap going on <laughs> in the background there as well. And finally, this nice, simple one with one of those lovely stamps. A beautiful the stamp well. there, Pete. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. <laughs> now, we looked, we looked at that lovely burlap. Here is the second embossing folder. And this one is called, I think it's cracked, yep, cracked leather. And you know, uh, we've looked at some of Tim's, uh, he's really pushed the boundaries on 3D embossing. This one is so super fine, and wow. it does look like a cracked leather handbag. It does. Um, yeah, or sometimes you get this pattern on shoes, don't you? Yeah. Here it is in, in the opulent cardstock. It's such wow. a fine, delicate, but super, super detailed Absolutely. fold. Absolutely. And this, this is amazing. Is just, this is just on black card, and I've brayed some different colored acrylics over the top to kind of pick out the texture. Uh, Gorgeous, wow. gorgeous folder, but really, really subtle, that mm -hmm. one, really subtle. So that's my penultimate one, but the last one, brushstroke flowers we looked at. How about brushstroke butterflies? Oh, look um, at them. Gorgeous, aren't they? And there are three different ones, but they've got that kind of, again, that kind of watercolor vibe going on. And this is the size of the butterflies <gasps> that actually come in the set, as you can see, we've used our distress inks there Stunning. to get there. And, you know, we, we wanted to go really simple, so I've got a lovely tiny little card there with some inked background. Beautiful. And finally, again, talking about our opulence, that is a silver opulence set, and just keeping it simple. Uh, and that, folks, brings us to the end. That is Chapter 2. That is Tim Holtz, Chapter 2, and the best place to get it is at of course thank you so much tim it's been an it's absolute pleasure. pleasure as always um thank you. Thank i you. hope it won't be much longer before we are back together fingers crossed 
Absolutely. And I hope you have a fantastic weekend as well. Thank you very much. And thank you, everybody, for tuning in. We'll see you again soon. Well, I'll see you again soon. Lou's got more to say, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I'll be. Hold on a second, everybody. I've got a winner to announce. <laughs> Thanks, Ooh. Pete. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Take yeah, care, no everybody. Problem. Take okay. care, Pete. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yes, yeah, so I'm not going anywhere because I have the winner to announce. Now, I've just scrolled through and done... And luckily, it did actually land on a comment that was tagging someone. So the winner of those um, fantastic bundles of brand new chapter two. Now, that is the abstract faces, the woven embossing folder, the modern floristry and the bold words number two. So all of those products are coming out to both. Uh, I think this is from uh, Facebook, from Julie Hassel and Aisha Weatherly. Congratulations, Julie tagged Aisha. Well done to both of you. If you could both send us your postal address and we will get those prizes straight out to you. But don't worry if you are not Julie or Aisha, you can of course um, go over to YouTube and enter the post there. Now, don't forget those 3D embossing folders as you've just seen, uh, Pete was talking about one there as well. There are a selection of the, the Sizzix 3D embossing folders for only $6.49 over on Craft Stash today. That is our deal of the day. They are beautiful. If you've never seen 3D embossing, honestly, it's out of this world. It's stunning. I'm going to leave you all to your Friday and to go shopping, of course. Um, do definitely take advantage of those triple points, particularly if you are thinking about buying the switch machine. So um, take care, have a lovely weekend, lots of crafting, and I'll see you again very soon. In fact, soon enough, so next Wednesday, myself and the lovely Kate Skilton are going to be introducing to you brand new paper discovery. So I'll see you for that at 6 p.m. on Wednesday, right here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.